Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and after a little hiatus, I am back to share with you what I've been up to and to showcase the cards by my collaborators. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and tap that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. It seems like I have been gone forever. Honestly, it was only a little over a week, but I have missed making videos and getting crafty. So after I participated in Craft Bowl 2021, which if you didn't catch it live on Facebook or you haven't seen the replay here on YouTube, I will link that in the description box below. I joined the hostess Mary Gunn along with Ardeth Percy Robb and Jayma Mommy for a fun night of crafting. It's kind of like a crafty game show. If you haven't checked it out again, make sure to check out that link in the description box below. But I decided the next day after that, that it would be the perfect time to go ahead and rearrange my craft area. I craft in the basement of our house and previously I had the smaller side of the basement and my daughter and husband shared the larger side because they both had some like Legos and Playmobil. But since I'm down here way more often, we decided to switch it around. So now I have the side that's slightly larger and I don't know if you've ever like try to reorganize your craft room or move your craft room, but it took about mm, three to four times as long as I thought. I thought I would be done that same weekend, and unfortunately, I was not, so I couldn't get crafty. Up on screen now are a few pictures of the process. If you're interested in maybe having a craft room tour or me showing you more photos, make sure to like this video and let me know in the comment section below and maybe I can put something together. Let's go ahead and get to the real reason for this video. You know that I like to stop by once a month to share a look with you at all of the fabulous cards that my collaborators have created using the latest sheetload of cards, which this month is the January 2021 edition. If you have not yet seen the debut video or the process video, I will make sure to link the playlist below where you can go check those out. And then if you're a subscriber, go ahead and get the download. In those linked videos, I did share with you that I would be back later in the month to show you how you could do an alternative for January 2021 if you didn't want to do all of the matting that the original sketch calls for. I will be back hopefully tomorrow or the next day with that. Before I share the cards with you, I do want to point out that this month's featured card set, which you might have noticed in the video thumbnail or in the intro, is by Deneen and she is on my Instagram team. As always, all of the collaborators are linked in the description box below, so if you see a card or two that you want to go check out more closely, make sure to check out those links. I know that my collaborators would love to see you stop by and leave them some love. Let's see what they created.
If you enjoyed that look at all of the collaborators cards, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. This is definitely one of my favorite videos to put together each month, and I hope that you enjoy it as well. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.